Good morning, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Ainsley. Today is Thursday, April 27th, and is the B-Day. Community service is due Monday, so make sure you get out there this weekend and give back. Lost your form? You can pick up another in your house office. ECC concludes Spirit Week tomorrow with Flower Child Friday. Rock your best hippie look to celebrate the end of the week. Attention juniors, Sikorsky is hiring summer interns. Interns work a 40-hour week in the Stratford plant for a total of eight weeks. This is a well-paid summer internship. You just need to be a high school junior and enrolled in at least one CTE course. Contact Dr. Bakniak in room 394 for an application package. Attention juniors and seniors, nominate your prom queen, king, princess, and prince. Nominations will be accepted in the cafeteria through Friday. Voting will be open May 3rd to May 17th through Infinite Campus. The bocce tournament is around the corner, Thursday, May 11th. See Ms. Snell in room 226 to sign up. $20 to eat and play or watch. Remember, four members to a team, and it's first come, first serve. Now here's a look at Gale Sports. Welcome to Gale Sports. Baseball rebounded against Cross, while boys golf fell to Guilford. Today we have softball and boys tennis home at both at 345, while both girls and boys lacrosse and girls tennis on the road good luck today don't forget anyone wishing to try out for the 2017-2018 cheerleading team please please pick up an information packet in the athletic office this tryouts will be held the week of may 15th back to you thanks the art department will be holding its annual art show this thursday friday and saturday evening in the library media center it will be held in conjunction with the Drama Club's production of Bring It On. The Media Center will be open one hour prior to the start of the show and throughout intermission. Please be sure to stop by to see all of the beautiful artwork. Now here's, a word, now here's a word from the Spanish Club. After school on Thursday, May 18th, the Spanish Club is partnering with Best Buddies to host a Taco Loco party truck to celebrate Mexican culture. All students and staff are encouraged to attend. The price for paid Spanish club members is $5 and $15 for non-Spanish club members. To be considered a Spanish club member, you must have paid the $5 membership dues collected at the beginning of the year. You must RSVP and pay for your ticket with your Spanish teacher, Mrs. Caparol, no later than Friday, May 12th. We invite all to attend and enjoy the event. Hope to see you there. The Shelton High School Drama Club will be putting on their spring musical, Bring It On, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All shows will begin at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale in the cafeteria. Students are $10 and adults $15. Tickets may also be purchased online at showticks4u.com. Today's lunch is a meatball grinder, coleslaw, oven fries, and a fresh fruit basket. As a member of the infamous millennial generation, a lot of us are users of social media websites. And it's not just Facebook anymore. Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, Visco, and Instagram are all big names in the social networking world now. While this means it's easier for us to connect with friends, it also means sharing information or pictures that are inappropriate. Ask yourself, how would your grandmother view you now? This short video has two college planning tips that will help clean up your accounts that may be viewed by people holding your futures in their hands, such as employers and college admissions officers. Let's take a look. Hello, today's two college planning tips in two minutes is going to cover cleaning up your social media. A lot of us are users of social media websites and it's not just Facebook. Twitter, Tumblr, Vine, Instagram, Foursquare, those are all big names in the social networking world. While this means it's easier for us to connect with friends, it also means sharing info with unknown users. And some of these users could be the people holding your future in their hands, college admissions officers. So tip number one is change your privacy settings. Privacy settings are especially important as there are so many options as to who sees what. You should be monitoring your privacy settings and changing who can see your wall, photos and likes, who can tag you in photos more importantly, and who can look you up. Changing your privacy settings puts you in control of what your profile looks like to others. Make your social media accounts private to those who are not your friends. So that's tip number one. And tip number two is obvious, cleaning up your content. Clean up your pictures. Some of us have been on social networks since middle school, so you probably consider your first few profile pics to be a dark corner of your profile. While it's time you venture back there and deleting anything embarrassing, irrelevant, and especially inappropriate. After you've combed through your photos, your profile should end up free of any pictures with obvious racial slurs, offensive language, uh, inappropriate gestures or clothing, or basically anything else you wouldn't want an admissions officer to see. Your Twitter handle is your name on Twitter. 
It's how people contact you and, your, and how users look you up. Therefore, it's super important you have a clean and professional one. If you want people to know who you are, your handle should be somewhat resemble your real name. For example, you could use at first name, last name seven, or maybe the initials of your first name and your last name. Try to avoid inappropriate handles, and that goes for email accounts as well. A lot of people set up Gmail accounts or Yahoo accounts with inappropriate names. Be very cognizant of what your email as well as your Twitter handles um, represent. You want to be professional, and this is exactly what college admissions counselors are looking for these days. Take the time now in your homeroom to talk about how a college admissions officer would view you based on your social media activity. That's all from us here at Gale News. Thank, Thank you, you and have, have a Gale, Gale day. day.